Hey guys, okay, welcome back to another video. <laughs> Alright, so today I just want to make a little something different to what I normally do. I want to talk about the state of what's happening now with Kings Canyon and everything that is basically going on right now. So if you're on Twitter or basically YouTube or anything lately, since Kings Canyon came back, it's been the old, uh, the old story of people complaining. Ever since season 5 when we first got Kings Canyon back, people started complaining. And now it's the same with on Twitter. There's a two side of the coin on this situation because there's half of the people are saying Kings Canyon is still bad and then there's other half that's saying that it's actually much better now with the map changes and it feels better but there are still the people that are complaining about it but before we get into the video I want to know what is your opinion which side of the coin you are like are you the side of the coin that says Kings Canyon is better now that the map changes or you're on the other side that says that Kings Canyon is still not the best, you know. I will give you five minutes to reply, to leave a comment. Just, I'll give you, you can pause the video if you have to. Just, I'll give you five minutes. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> One hour later. <laughs> okay, now that you got your comments in, let's talk about it. Alright, so now let's first talk about pubs for Kings Canyon. Now, the whole map changes and everything, so of course now rotating through the map has changed quite a bit. And I don't think that in certain places in the map you get third party a lot. Not as much as you used to in Season 5. Like in Season 5 the third parties were bad. Like if you're in pubs or if you're in ranked, you were going to get third party either way. Like the third par parties were insane. Now of course... There is still certain parts of the map where you do get third party and that's always going to be like it because there's always certain choke points on a map that is going to get you caught out. That's just how it is. There is no stopping that. That's just it, you know. And that's the way it's always going to be. It's not just Kings Canyon that has those problems. It's also World's Age Olympus is always going to be those choke points where you're going to rotate and it's going to be a third party. And usually you try to avoid those but sometimes you can't so no matter what map you're on there's gonna be those third parties it's just natural <laughs> but with the new map changes to king's canyon it is a little bit different it's not as bad as the third parties used to be it is much better the rotations in pubs do feel a lot better and a lot smoother most of the time and there's a lot of people who are saying the same thing that pubs is not bad it's pretty good in pubs and you know it's fun in pubs because the new map changes are really awesome to Kings Canyon. It's very flow. It's genuine. It's it's actually pretty awesome. A few of the things that it took away, I don't understand. But you know, most of the map it's actually pretty good now. Now how much of the changes they've made, and I think it really made pub for pubs. It made it very healthier, and it feels a lot more smoother. How it did feel in season five and season six, it wasn't as smooth. Like it was, it felt like the map was small. It felt like it was too many third parties I even made a video about it about how what the state of Kings Canyon was and it wasn't a good state at that time because we got to play we got the privilege of to play on World's Edge and that really changed our perspective on how Kings Canyon is because on World's Edge it was a much bigger map it felt a lot smoother and we you know we played that map for like two seasons or three seasons and we got so used to that kind of style and when we got put into the the Kings Canyon map we were just like we were very different about it. We we're like, no, this is too this is a bad map, there's too many third parties. And that's how it was in season five. It was a lot of third parties and it was a lot of problems when it came to Kings Canyon. Like everyone dreaded the Kings Canyon in season five. But now that it's season now that it's season eight and it's Kings Canyon again, I don't think it's actually that bad anymore. Like, the, ma rope, the map rotations aren't that bad, the third party isn't that bad anymore, I think it is a lot more smoother than how it used to be. And there are a lot of people who agree with that, that for pubs, Kings Canyon is really good. But what people are mainly complaining about, the side of the coin that everyone is complaining about Kings Canyon is ranked and competitive. So, 
in general ranked is already difficult. Now, ranked on King's Canyon is different to how it is on normal maps. Well, not really normal maps, I mean like the other maps. It's the ranked experience is much different. It seems it's just a little bit harder on King's Canyon. I don't know why, but it just seems harder. Not in the not really in the lower ranks, but once you get from platinum upwards in the much more higher ranks, King's Canyon is a little bit harder. And it gives you a much different feel and how it normally would feel because in World's Edge or Olympus when you play ranked it's it's a basic kind of fight style you know people will push when it's needed to push there is most fights aren't drawn out as long as they should be fights are done quickly it's a lot of close range some of the fights can be drawn out a bit but that's mainly the final fight when there's like five squads fighting in one place but it's usually that's the only time it really gets drawn out is when it's five squads and it's the final ring and everyone doesn't want to push each other but on King Scanning because of the terrain that you're dealing with it's m the gunfights are mainly spent fighting from a distance and you're just poke constantly poking damage like everyone is using snipers and everyone's poking damage no one is really rushing each other you just poke damage you move position poke damage move position poke damage find another team poke damage on them while you're poking damage on another team the other team you were still making shit with and now you started now this new team has arrived now you gotta poke damage with them and you end up poking damage with three four teams and then you gotta completely rotate around the whole map just to avoid it all because then it's just gonna cause chaos if you keep staying there trying to poke damage then more teams are gonna come and it will just be come way too much of a problem so that's pretty much how it is going right now in king's canyon for ranked it's basically just long drawn out and it's just poking damage and it's sitting at a distance like even I've had to adapt to using snipers now because I never use snipers in ranked I think the longest range gun I would, would use in ranked is like an R301 with a three times or on it or a two times that's my longest range I would normally play just so I can poke a little bit damage but now I've had to use a 30-30 repeater, I've had to use a triple take because everyone else is using snipers and everyone's keeping out the long gunfights from a range. Because of the way the map is generally designed, it's just the terrain of it is just m not meant to make it easy to push each other, you know? Because if you have to push someone, you obviously, the way the terrain is, you're holding height and someone else is holding height but to get to each other's height you have to take low ground and no one wants to push and take the low ground and lose instant advantage because then you're definitely going to lose the gunfight and in that aspect I can understand why people are complaining about it for ranked because it is much more difficult than it is in Olympus or World's Edge for ranked it really is difficult and if I'm come and if you know ranked is hard, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like playing competitive in Kings Canyon. It must be a whole different ball game because you know in ranked you're just working for RP, but in competitive these guys are actually working for a lot more than just you know RP. They're working for money, and it's a whole com it's a tournament. You know it's important. It's way more important than ranked. Ranked you can just you lose RP, get into a new game, and it's all right. You gain some RP. But in a tournament, it's a lot more different. There is no reset button. There is no going back into the lobby and trying again, you know, the next day. So I guess, you know, in that aspect, I can understand why they're complaining. And also, there's people that's also complaining because there's people who played from Season 1 and Season 2, you know, the OGs, the, like the OG Apex players who played the original Season 0 and Season 1 and Season 2. And they all say that they're worn out from Kings Canyon and that they just hate it because they're tired of it. But I don't really get why they worn out because when I started, I started in season two. So I can't really say that I'm worn out from it. But then I started playing more occasionally, like a lot more when it came to season three. And that was when we, World's Edge was introduced. And I've been playing World's Edge like consecutively all this time and I don't feel worn out about it so I don't really get why they worn out about it 
Maybe it's just Kings Canyon that just made them tired of it. I don't know. And a lot of them s before said that, you know, like when season 5 came out, everyone was so happy. It's, oh, it's Kings Canyon. It's, you know, the original OG map is back. And then I think two weeks into playing it, everyone became unhappy. So I don't know. It's, it's a tough thing to say. But if you're a new player who just started in season 4 or you started in season 6, then Kings Canyon map. It's probably nice to you, you enjoy it and you know, but to a lot of the other older players who've been playing it for longer, generally don't enjoy Kings Canyon and it's very tough because it takes a lot of toll on the map because when a lot of these pros and these, a lot of these content creators are saying that Kings Canyon is terrible, then all of the people who follow them and listen to them are going to stop believing it and then Kings Canyon is going to be taking a dip. when. All of the problem is, it's just that it's ranked. That is the problem when it comes to Kings Canyon. Like pubs now with the new map changes is pretty good. So I don't know what I don't really know what side I stand on because pubs it is really good, but ranked it makes it very difficult and it makes it much harder because you got to adapt to a whole new fight style because it's nothing like we normally would fight in ranked. And if I'm complaining, like I said, if I'm complaining about ranked, competitive must be even more difficult to fight in. But it's it's also very hard on the developers at Respawn because they work so hard on to make on to designing the new Kings Canyon and making all these map changes, and then they go on Twitter and all of these people, all these pros and these content creators are all complaining about Kings Canyon and basically just trashing all of the work that they did do. And I can imagine like how hard that must be for them. Like you know they put so much work and effort into making this. And now they just completely belittling everything that they've done for this map and you know everyone is probably most of the people who follow them are going to listen and there is nothing wrong with that because they're your content creators they're the people you watch on a daily basis and that's their opinion matters to you and that's very good to have as a community and it's very healthy to have as a community but it's also now that it's reflecting a bad scene onto how Kings Canyon and Apex is looking right now because We've got a whole half a season with Kings Canyon. And, you know, like, what if it continues to go on? Like, what if they continue to complain and no one wants to play in Kings Canyon? And what, are they going to shelf Kings Canyon for the rest of the duration of the game? Like, we'll never see Kings Canyon again? And I think, you know, for the newer players, it's nice. And pubs is nice. It's just not ranked, you know? It shouldn't be a ranked match. It just shouldn't be a competitive match. It is a perfect match map it's a good pubs match it is so nice the way they changed it it is such a smooth frame of a map but just ranked it's difficult and competitive it makes it harder and harder you know but i don't know that's you know that's my opinion on the matter <laughs> i just wanted to voice my word and and i also wanted to know what you guys were thinking what's happening with the new kings canyon and how you guys feel about it but you know, like you know, like I said, let me know in the comments how you guys think, how you feeling about Kings Canyon in pubs and in ranked. But yeah, so this is my, this is me. I'm gonna end it here. This is just wanted to vent about, and talk about the state of Kings Canyon. But uh, I'll see you guys later, and I'll see you in the next upload. Cheers. Hope you enjoy the rest of your days, and I'm out.